My name is David Netto, and I would love to show you a beautiful beach house. And I'll tell you about the first idea I had for this house on the main floor where we are, divided into zones. And a way that I did that was to paint the floors light blue in the living room, dining room, public spaces upstairs. Around us, in this little slice, which is dark, um, I thought that if we painted it, you know, this kind of deep purplish midnight blue, that it would feel like you had walked out and you were under the night sky between two separate buildings. Sometimes you actually get more out of using less color and you don't want it to be the main gesture. And, you know, we're in a white room, but these Joseph Albers tables deliver um, a lot of impact for something that's small and they don't distract from the fact that it's supposed to be a light and bright room. One of the prettiest combinations that you can ever do, yellow and blue go beautifully together. And you see the blue Giaponti uh, tiles. What I didn't know I was going to end up doing was this incredible egg yolk colored breakfast table, which was made in London and it's made for a yacht. Every big house deserves one good cozy nighttime room, which should usually be dark. And that's sort of the way we handled this little room, which is the library, obviously, but it had, it had certain uh, things going for it, like this bay window, which is sort of interesting, and we modeled the sofa to pick up a little big uh, bit of the curve of that, and then these incredible Josef Hoffman Vienna Secession chairs. So I did this room with my own daughter, who was, uh, I think, 11 at the time, and she picked all the colors and the patterns, and I organized them and we got the room done that way. So it's actually a room by one child for another child. So we decided to take a room that was near the pool and turn it into a cabana. And I think that that was a perfect invitation to do a lot of strong pattern against, you know, stark white boards like these pillows and the saturated rich colors of these photographs. My feeling about this project was that you were never going to out-decorate the beauty of nature. And after all the pretty rooms we did, my favorite part is still the natural sight and the fact that um, the light next to the ocean is the most beautiful in the world.